Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Dear viewers, we're back again. As we said, if Allah will, we'll come back with some guests. Alhamdulillah, we're back. Today I have the honor to introduce you some guests within the Jamaat, but also international guests who have decided to come here and uh, attend our Jalsa Salana, 32nd Jalsa Salana of Switzerland. And I'm really honored to introduce you those guests today. First of all, it's real a pleasure to have you here, uh, Mr. Michael Schaubeger. And uh, thank you for following our invitation and coming here and joining us again. I have also the honor to introduce you, Makaram Mohtaram Musavar Ahmed Sahib, who is uh, also a very good and great uh, poet reciter who we actually who has acclaimed the international uh, internationally is known alhamdulillah and he is but also the national general secretary of jamaat e hindia austria so thank you very much for joining the jalsa salana and helping us our mta team here jazakallah my next guest is atal fatir tahir sahab who is uh, also a jamia student from uh, uk and I'm also thankful to him because he's followed our invitation and is assisting us uh, to translate uh, different speeches of Jalsa Salana here in Switzerland. So, Fatih Tahir Sahib, Jazakallah. And last but not least, we have Ataul Haq Sahib, who is a National Secretary here in Switzerland for No Mobain in Waqf Jadid. And uh, he will be telling us about our yesterday is progress with, with different guests who attended this year, the Jasa Salana, out of the Jamaat. So thank you very much once again to you. Michael, my first question to you, actually, as, as you know, you, you're an old friend, alhamdulillah, and you, you've been attending quite many. Yes. Uh, yes. <coughs> so what is different this time? Well, what is different? There is no difference. This is love all the time. This is love for everybody and hatred for nobody. So this hasn't changed, fortunately. But time has changed. The Islam is, is, yeah. is more in the news and you're a journalist, That's obviously, correct. and I forgot to tell this. He is a journalist of a very famous newspaper here mm -hmm. and writes a lot of things about the Jamaat and he's been also trying to portray the right and the real message of Islam right. in his scripts right. here in Switzerland. So right. things are changing and evolving and, uh, and people are still using with, with new features like ISIS and yes, Syria yes, and all yes, of that. Yes, 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 and yes. you've been traveling recently yes. as well as we, yes. as we uh, found out, uh, especially in Muslim countries. So where are we going? What do you think? Where are we going? Well, this is a very tricky question, obviously, but in these days it really comes down to how do you communicate with the public? How are you being perceived in the public? And I must say the Ahmadiyya community in Zurich does quite a nice job, uh, and I might uh, point out this action where they decorated the minaret in the rainbow colors. And this uh, in a country where they had a referendum of no more minarets, um, which by the way was illegal, but who cares in this country. Um, um, and this really fetched the attention and uh, compliment for the imam to dress up the minaret in rainbow colors. Wonderful. What can we do? Because if, if, if you look at uh, still, we, we're, we're having a lot of other campaigns here, a lot of projects which we are, as an Ahmadiyya Muslim community, as you said, and our founder said, is to actually uh, portray peace everywhere and across the world. But what can we do with journalists? And well, you see, it's one thing um, um, catching up with the journalists and bring them on board. But the other thing is in these days, it's more, I say, about um, social media, technical communities, as Edward Snowden is uh, calling that. And I guess um, communicating with the public these days, and particular for Muslims, and in particular for Ahmadi Muslims, is to connect with young people. They are our future, and they are in the technical communities. So y you may be aware of this movement in the U.S. already, not in our name, with this social media campaign against these barbarians um, that misuse and abuse the name of the Prophet. And that might be a, a, a role and a model 
for the Swiss Ahmadis to catch up with the young people via social media. Okay, thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Musavir Sahib. Jazakallah once again for joining uh, the Jalsa Salana here in Austria. Jazakallah for the invitation. Tell me something about, because Alhamdulillah I had the opportunity this year to visit you at the Jalsa. But tell me, uh, obviously you've seen the difference here, you've met our boys here and our members here. And what emotions, today is the last day, so what emotions and, and knowledge you're taking or what, your, your views about yes, this? Yes, Alhamdulillah, you know, um, every time we see Jalsa Salanas and we um, go in every country, there is the same feeling, same emotions and uh, um, the love and affection of the people uh, for each other, it's uh, amazing and it's indescribable. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, one thing, you know, the advantage of visiting smaller countries like Switzerland, um, comparatively uh, to um, England, UK or Germany is that you know you, you get inside in the preparations also and you see how the uh, Khudams are working for this Jalsa Salana and it's, 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 it inspires me also you know for our Jalsa that we also you know um, make a progress in, in this um, in regard and Alhamdulillah we pray that you know a time will come that our Jamaat also um, will be seen in such a way um, that we, you know, we can hold, uh, we can hold also uh, such a great event. Jazakallah. How big or how is your Jalsa Salana based? Um, is that the same model? Compared, or? you know, this, uh, you try to, you know, adapt the same model in, in every country. Uh, it's the same um, uh, responsibility, but um, comparatively to uh, Switzerland, our Jamaat is very small, um, just a few hundred people. And uh, uh, our Jalsa is only um, restricted to one day, not like uh, Switzerland three days. And, you know, that's uh, another challenge. And uh, Alhamdulillah, as the Jamaat will progress, also um, see uh, a day when we will have our Jalsa for three days, inshallah. Now I'll come to the second part because you're also a very good poet reciter. I know your voice is not working, but one... One verse for our viewers, live here on MTA Switzerland. Okay. Hua me tere fazlon ka munadi Fa subhan allazi yakhzal adi Hua me tere fazlon ka munadi Fa subhan allazi akhzal adi If you haven't noticed, this is the promo voice as well. So jazakallah, jazakallah musawar sahab. I'll move to my next guest, Atawal Fatih Tahir sahab. Jazakallah, following our invitation. You come from such a big country where big in numbers alhamdulillah but the root basically the reason of our community Hazrat Khalifa Tul Masih Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Nasil Aziz is in the country and he lives there alhamdulillah exactly, yeah. what a pleasure yeah? it's amazing to be there Jalsa Salana there is obviously in a very big spectrum so maybe you want to tell us how what expression you take with yourself and well the truth is that coming from the International Jalsa, seeing the International Jalsa day in, day out, where you have, you know, over 30,000 people coming, the logistical aspects of it, and everything's on a grand scale. And coming to the Jalsa here in Switzerland as well, it's everything scaled down. But the truth is, this is just another sign of the prophecy of the Promised Messiah, fulfilling that I shall cause thy message to reach the corners of the earth. And we say just like in the International Jalsa in the UK, first it took place in the compound surrounding the Fazl Mosque, then it moved to Islamabad, and then Islamabad got smaller, and now it's moved, moved to the site in um, Hadiq al Mahdi. And we see that's even getting smaller, and year in, year out, the numbers are growing. But the fundamental of the Jalsa and the essence of a Jalsa is still here and everyone can feel it here as well, whether it's Switzerland, whether it's uh, the Jalsa in Norway or Belgium or any other country. And that is the spirituality. 
and the very purpose of the Jalsa, which is to gain spirituality and gain the atmosphere of the spirituality and go closer to God Almighty. And so that essence I have felt here, like I felt in the International Jalsa also. As I said, Taul uh, Haksai, we had yesterday, Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, uh, quite a good number of guests here. So can you tell me about their expressions uh, and, and, and the program yesterday uh, to our viewers, obviously, just uh, in a summary? Mm -hmm. we had a, uh, yesterday we had a special program for our guests and Alhamdulillah, there were politicians, there were like priests and other from religious groups also here, but also the neighbors. And we have here, uh, this year we have an um, exhibition about Islam, where they can inform themselves about Islam in general, about Islam Ahmadiyyat, and about our activities. And uh, their feedback was very positive because they are very happy that we are at an open community, you know, we have nothing to hide here, so everybody can come here and share this atmosphere with us and inform themselves. So that I think what they enjoyed being here. Also, uh, so that you have this year uh, exhibition and all that. Can you? tell our viewers about that maybe just summarizing mm -hmm. the exhibition is uh, we have uh, different panels about different topics of Islam like uh, for example uh, now uh, at this time it's happening in uh, Mecca the Hajj for example we have other panels about the promised Messiah Salam, and his meanings we have also some uh, Qurans you can see there in different languages uh, all the translations but also um, um, some photos of our what we do as a Jamaat, like our Jalsa Salana or our Ijtema, but also what we do with the, in, within the Swiss community, uh, that we are doing something for the elder people here or working together with other communities here. So what, is, what our activities are, basically. Okay. Jazakallah uh, Tal Haksab. Before we go off today, I would like to uh, request Michael for maybe some closing remarks you might have uh, uh, further to our discuss discussion earlier. Yeah, well, you know, um, being here in this new mosque in uh, the eastern part of Switzerland, I mean, it's really amazing. This is a traditional part of Switzerland, and still the Ahmadi community has managed to build a second mosque here when you hear a lot of right-wing politicians in Switzerland who were after this ban the minaret referendum and still right in the heartland the Ahmadis managed to build a second mosque that's sensational and it speaks for the Ahmadis and their communication skills. Thank you very much once You're again. Right. But before we go, dear viewers, because that was just a promo song, a promo nazam which he recited, I would like to have another last verse. And with this, we'll leave you today and see you, inshallah, ta'ala, if Allah will. We will see you again next year. I request you to pray for us, for the team, for the boys, behind the cameras, behind the scene. Take care and Musavar uh, Saab, your last recitation for our viewers here in Switzerland. Hamdo sana usiko Jo zat javedani Ham sar nahi hai uska Koi na koi saani Jazakallah